soaring through the sky. Students taking flight in space at River Ridge Academy are learning the physics of flying. Well, my plane, it flew really well and really far. I think next time I might want to curve my wings a little more to get some lift and also use stronger wood so it doesn't snap. For the tip at the back and the tip at the front, I had to add some more weight onto both sides because my plane would tilt both ways. So when I was testing it, it kept nose diving, so I had to take some off to make so the back would have more lift. The students made their own gliders, cutting their wings and using glue to build their planes. The wing was made out of styrofoam and we used this wire and it like was hot and then it burned the styrofoam to make the wing. It, shaping the wing would make the wing, like it'll make it go straight or high. If you make it right, it'll go straight. The project is an introduction to how planes generate lift by using their wings. The teacher says by experiencing firsthand how model planes fly, it should help the students better understand how real planes stay in the air. So your plane has to be balanced. So it kind of gives them an opportunity to, to look back and see my glider did that and, and they can make that connection then as we're learning about Bernoulli's principle and um, how jet planes are able to generate lift. The Flight in Space course not only examines the principles of flight, but it also introduces students to space exploration. And then we also learn about traveling in space um, and what it would take for humans to live and survive in, in space. And we, and we also researched kind of the history of flight to where we've gotten to where we are today. The Flight in Space course is part of the school's Project Lead the Way program at River Ridge Academy, Ron Lopes, Beaufort County School District. Oh.